Hello my lovelies, we're in a different location today which is lovely just to mix things up a little bit and I'm also going to be talking to you about a strawberry martini, that's what I'm going to be teaching you today. Um, it's perfect for Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, PJ Day, anything really. Um, I've already done one glass to make it look pretty, lovely martini glass, use any glasses you have but I like the martini glasses. Um, Simon has very kindly helped me with all of this so I have melted white chocolate here. And I'm literally just going to dip the rim of the glass in the edge just a little bit. You don't want to get it all going around the side. Just on the top there, like that. Careful those drips. They'll want to drip down the glass. But if you turn it like that, they should stay on. Oh, brilliant. So, I don't know if you can see that clearly. Now I'm going to... Pop it in grated dark chocolate, which again, Simon has kindly done for me. Now, it's easier, I find, to do it in sections. If you have a big enough plate and lots enough chocolate, you could do it all in one go. But for these martini glasses being so wide, I think sections is the best thing to do. There we go. Shake that off there. And there we have the glass. Can you see? I don't know if you can see the rim. There. Lovely. So... Two, mar two martini glasses ready to go. So this is another one of those recipes that I love because it's basically pop everything in, put on the blender, pour, done. So it's very, very simple, very, very easy. It can be made non-alcoholic with just not bothering with this lovely bit, which is the vodka. Recipe and ingredients are in the description as usual. This is going to make a lot of noise, so I'm going to chuck it all in and then I'm going to put it on but I'm going to cut that bit out or mute it or something maybe I'll have some music on as it plays because this is probably going to be quite a short video so first things first oh that reminds me you'll need to chop up your strawberries now sometimes I do think to myself oh just shove them in whole but the problem with this is if you if you have things that are too chunky and you're waiting forever for it to to break down you could end up ruining the way the uh, lovely martini comes out. It also depends on your ice cream and how cold it is. It was freezing when I did one of these earlier today. Yes, I have already had one. And um, it came out like thick ice cream. Oh, it was gorgeous. Um, and then I put a few extra bits in and it thinned it out, but it was still gorgeous. So anyway, it's up to you, but this is how I do it with the strawberries. I'm gonna pop the ice in first because that makes a lot of noise. And I'm not gonna use all of this ice, just some of it. There we go. And then I'm going to pop the ice cream in. I really should have a spoon for this. But I don't have one. That's right, it's fine. That's started to melt a bit, so it's gone in anyway. Then the strawberries go in. Ooh. And we have a little bit of vanilla essence. Just to make it lovely. A little bit there. And I'm going to put in some honey because these are supposed to be super sweet strawberries. Um, I am making this video, this is going to date a bit, in the winter months and although it says super sweet strawberries, they are not super sweet strawberries. So if they are super sweet strawberries and you like it like that, then fine, don't bother. But for me, I'm going to add a bit of honey. Ooh. I'm going to add the actual identical, sort of identical, I'm going to add the exact amounts on the description for you. There we go. I talk too fast, that's my problem. And of course, the vodka. So we've got everything in there and now I'm just going to blitz it in here. So I'm going to mute this bit and just have some music playing so you don't lose your ears. Oh, one other thing to say, I might get a little bit violent with the mixer because things sometimes tend to get a bit stuck. So it's not me trying to break it. I've had this for years and uh, sometimes I just need to agitate it a bit. Please, please, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work with your blenders because this has got a safe to catch on that if the lid is off, it won't go. I don't know how it works. It's magic, but anyway. But please don't stick anything in here while it's blending to mix it up. Give it a shake, turn it off, take it off the blender give it a stir be careful if these are one of those ones where the bottom attaches too much don't take the bottom off and um if needs be give it a stir then then put it back on and here we go but i think we're there okay so are you ready for this 
Absolutely beautiful. So just pour it in. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And it tastes amazing. It is such a treat. It is so easy to make and so positively adorable. Look at that, let me just get my little little heart cherry. This might sink, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, little heart cherry on top, plop. My other little heart cherry. Top, don't drown. Oh, perfect. And there you have it. That's it, it's done. Drink, enjoy. I'm gonna go off and drink these in a minute. And I won't drink in front of you because it'll probably be very messy, you know what I'm like. But if you have any alterations, you can add anything you like, different ice creams, flavoured ice creams, strawberry ice cream if you want. I use vanilla for this one. Um, choc mint chip, all kinds of things. Whatever you do, um, please, if you make anything from my recipes, I would love to see it. Send me a photo, tag me, let me know. Um, and if you change it, make it better, please let me know as well. That's also fabulous. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your strawberry martinis. See you later, babes. Bye.